Hey guys, this is Pobet, and today I'm going to be comparing the performance to Windows 7 Professional versus Linux Mint 18.1. So this is a computer we're running the test on. It is a Dell Inspiron 620. It has an Intel Pentium G630 CPU clocked at 2.7 GHz. It has 4 GB of DDR3 RAM at 532 MHz. And it has a 512 AMD Radeon HD 5450 GPU. I'm going to be using a 250 GB Samsung SSD. Both of the operating systems are going to be installed to it, so it should be a fair game. And the reason I chose this computer is because it is on lower spec range and needs all the help it can get. So with that in mind, let's all get right, to the so test. I'm going to go ahead and test the um, Linux performance first. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the machine now. Oops, the camera. So let's do this. Get the camera to focus. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, start the timer at the same time I hit the enter button. So, 3, 2, 1. Uh, should be getting close. There we go. So, it took about 11 seconds to go from the bootloader to the um, login screen. Alright, so now uh, we're going to go ahead and test the login time. So... Once again, I'm going to go ahead and start my timer, and once all the icons load up, I will stop the timer. Uh, that was a little late, I didn't expect it all to load up at once, so it's about 5 seconds from the lock screen uh, onto the desktop. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and open up uh, Google Chrome, and 3, 2, 1. So that was about 3 seconds, uh, give or take. So, um, I'm now going to go ahead and open up YouTube, my YouTube page. Um, let's try to get this. Three, two, one. And it does about five seconds. Now, it's worth noting that I actually am using my uh, laptop as a network bridge, so... Um, the internet connection may be a little slower than normal. Alright, so the next test is going to be Reddit. Once again, it's uh, network dependent, but since they're both going to be on the same network, it should be uh, just fine. As you can see, it's almost instant. Um, you see no lag or anything. Um, let's go ahead, uh, let's go to a news website like CNN. And you can see it loads right up. Alright, so the next program I'm going to go ahead and try to open is um, LibreOffice. So, I will get LibreOffice and I will get my timer ready real quick. Alright, and I'm going to press enter at the same time. And it's about a second. Let's uh, open up the release note. Let's go ahead and reset it. About a second. So, that's LibreOffice on Linux. And now I'm just going ahead and open up some smaller programs. Um, first, I'm going to go ahead and open Kodi. So, this should probably only take a second, but. Uh, Click it. Okay, three, two, one. Bam! It's just a sec. It's like 1.5 seconds. All right, let's try uh, VLC. All right, close the stopwatch back. And put uh, three, two, one. Less than a second. Uh, couldn't hit the stop button. So VLC is pretty fast. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and try a. Um, Image editor, so we're gonna go ahead and open GIMP. Got the timer ready. Three, two, one. And that loaded in about four seconds. Not bad. Alright, for the last one, I figured I would do Counter Strike. Um, I'm actually working on a, a game performance video of Windows versus Linux. It's actually in the works right now. But I figured I could make this video while I work on it because it actually took a whole lot longer than I thought it would. So um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wait till it gets to the main menu and I'll just close out from there. So we're gonna go ahead and open the timer. This will actually take some time, so we might actually see some time differences between Linux and Windows. So let's try this. Three, two, one. And right as we hit a minute, it loads in. 
Alright, so they're about to uh, the glutes on my test. So all that's left is to put it into uh, sleep mode and then turn it on just to see how long that takes. So sleep mode is super fast, so I'll try this. Three, two, one. Got one second until the fans turn off, maybe a little longer. So now we're going to go ahead and test the um, wake up time. So let's focus on the timer. There we go. Three, two, one. And it's about four seconds. Alright, so the last test is the shutdown test, which my phone so conveniently overheated just as I was uh, doing that test, so I have to restart it. So, um, go ahead, go down to the shutdown, and three, two, one. And it only takes four seconds to shut down. Definitely something Windows can't say. Alright, so we are now going to do the Windows part of the test. So let's boot up the computer and hit the camera again. Alright, so go ahead, get this ready in 3, 2, 1. And there we go, about uh, 14 seconds. All right, I just typed in my password, and now we're going to see how long it takes to go from the lock screen to the desktop. So three, two, one. And it only took about two seconds, so not bad. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and open up Google Chrome. So let's add to the list. So uh, three, two, one. And about three seconds. All right, the next thing I'm gonna test is opening up my YouTube channel. So I'm gonna click it in three, two, one. And about four seconds. Last minute it was about five, so that's why I didn't stop it. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna test is Reddit. So I'm gonna go to Reddit. And as you can see, it loads up pretty fast, and it's actually smoother uh, scrolling than on Linux. Uh, could just be Chrome, I'm not sure, but uh, you can see it definitely feels smoother. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and go to CNN. And as you can see, it loads pretty quickly as well. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to load is LibreOffice. Uh, LibreOffice. And it's slightly different, it uh, doesn't have that document or whatever, that was like less than a second. Um, as you can see it doesn't have that document that um, Linux had, but I was just going to uh, open a new document instead, it should be the same thing. And it takes about a second, so still pretty fast. Alright, so next we're going to go ahead and open up Kodi, so um, go get my phone ready in three. Two, one. And it's taking a sweet time. <laughs> Alright, there we go. So about eight seconds. Uh, however, closing is much faster. Watch this. It's instant. Uh, whereas on Linux, it takes about two seconds. So if you want some and you lose some. Next, you're going to go ahead and open VLC. Three, two, one. It takes about a second as well. So no big difference there. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and open up GIMP, so let's get GIMP, and get my timer ready, and we'll be going in 3, 2, 1. Takes about 4 seconds on Windows. Alright, and the last program is going to be Counter-Strike, so we'll do this in 3, 2, 1. Alright, as you can see, it uh, already loaded the loading screen faster, and it only took about 27 seconds, which is, what, I think that's 32 seconds faster than Linux, so, a whole lot faster there. So, also worth noting that um, 
next video is going to be of uh, the gaming performance of Linux vs Windows, so that's the reason why I have some games loaded on here. So look forward to that. Alright, so that about wraps up the video, so all that's left is to go ahead and uh, test the sleep load time and the shutdown time. So, uh, let's go ahead and put it in sleep mode in 3, 2, 1. Now, the hard drive turned off, the fan is still running, and the LED is on. Oh, there we go. So it takes about 7 seconds, which is Linux taking about 1.5. So uh, now let's go ahead and test the uh, startup time. So three, two, one. Takes about, uh, I'd say, 3.5 seconds. So uh, obviously uh, Linux wins in that one. All right, so now all we have to do is uh, perform the shutdown test. So uh, we'll do that in three, two, one. Sounds like the hard drive shut off. Oh, there we go. 10 seconds. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully it was educational. Uh, it took me a while to make the video. And um, next week I will be making a gaming performance win, uh, video of Linux vs. Windows. Hopefully I'll be doing it in three ways. First I'll run uh, Wine. Then I'll uh, run the Linux version of the game. And then I'll run through Windows. So, um... I think I'll just edit in the, some graphs of uh, old times. Uh, so, yeah. Anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next week. Oh, and uh, those who want to know the full specifications of the system, let's go ahead and open up Specky real quick. So, uh, there's the full specifications of the system.